is JR. YouTube, what's up? This month, this rant, we're going to talk about cheating. So I've had a few conversations lately about cheating and why men cheat. First of all, let me say that women cheat just as much as men. They just do it for different reasons. And they usually don't get caught because women are smarter. Second of all, I can only give you my perspective based on my experience. So here's my take on it. Here's the thing. Everybody has their own idea on what cheating is. Some people think it's sex only. Some people think it's texting and intimate conversations. Other people think it's anything you wouldn't do in front of your partner. My little advice is to talk it over with your partner and figure it out. And don't start the conversation with the things you are okay with. Don't start the conversations on things you think it's okay for you to do. Start with the things that you wouldn't be okay with if you found out they were doing it. You might find out some stuff about yourself. Anyway, I believe women cheat because they're missing something. Passion, excitement, enjoyment, something. And they look elsewhere to fulfill it. On the other hand, men, well most men, cheat because they lack the ability to curve women. Let me explain. Side note, curving is basically turning somebody down. Okay, so let's be honest. Women have been curving men since they were 12. So by the time they got older, they pretty much perfected it. They honed in on their skills. They learn how to be mean about it. They learn how to be nice about it. They even learn how to put you in the friend zone without you even knowing it. Conversely, guys have been trying to get the booty since they were 12. That's all they knew until they were about 19, 20 years old. And that's when they came into their manhood. Women became more interested and getting the booty was a little bit easier. So let's summarize. By the time we get to age 20, women have been curving men for a decade and men been trying to hump anything that walks for a decade. So when we finally get into a relationship, women are ready and men are still trying to get ready. That's why men cheat early in a relationship and women cheat later. The men who aren't disciplined enough to curve women will cheat until they figure it out. And the smart men won't even allow themselves to get in that situation. I'm not that smart, but I'm getting there. And then women put up with their man until they can't take it anymore. And then they cheat. So how do we fix it? One, the obvious, communication. Not just any communication, but open and honest communication. You have to be comfortable with being uncomfortable. If you ask the question, you can't be upset about the answer. Your partner has to be comfortable enough to tell you the truth without you going crazy. Like if I have something to tell you and I know you're going to go crazy on me, I'm just going to lie about it. People say they want the truth until you tell them and then they can't handle it. Number two, another way to fix cheating is avoid the compromising situation. Take your partner with you places. If that's not practical or feasible, just imagine your partner with you everywhere you go. Just imagine if your behavior would be okay if your partner was with you. Don't say, how would I feel if my girl did this? That doesn't work. Cause like I said, everybody has their own idea of cheating. Well, that's it. That's all I got. Thank you for watching. And just because I said it doesn't mean it's 100. It's just my opinion. What's yours? If you like what you see, like, share, repeat. If you have a rant request, hit me up via Facebook or Twitter or comment below. And never forget, live for tomorrow's moment. See you next month. It's birthday time. Happy birthday to all my June birthdays. Justin Brown, Jasmine Rodriguez, Alessandra Grimma, Angela Cobb, Derek Toombs, Rodney Norman, Lisa C, can't pronounce her last name, Nicole Abendroff, Patrick Watson, Shane McHugh, Markeen Johnson, Jay Mayo, Kristen Seltman, Will Merrill, Emmanuel Nguyen, did I say that right? Kamiko Yamamura, John Romanoff, Foley Vega, Rob Iannotti, Desmond Peterson, that's my boy, John Bennett, George Oliveira, Gene McComer, Dave Taylor, Nicole Carol Barnes, Stormy Brown, that's not your real name, Kendra LaPosey, what up? Tracy Griffin, Ron Heron, Shanae Matthews, Kim Cross, hey girl, Dave Shine, Shakia Smith, Mike Murray, what up Mike? Duan Brown, Michelle Pontes, I can't even pronounce this one, Mike McKenna, Matt Woodland, Tejan Ross, Rodrigo Plaza, Al Beanstra, Brian Bowden, Coe Snyder, Mac McMillan, Aaron LaRoche, Joey Pierre, Chris Zito, Julie Sopchak, Candice Rose, Leticia Carter, hey mama, Matt Fiorio, Brian Nichols, Deborah Adams, what's up cousin? Rodell Sutton, what's up boy? Destiny Mangum, Amy Brunel Bergeron, Tim and Knight, Michelle Forth, Jim Crompton, Mike Micah Jean, Rebecca Renner, Chidi Olumpa, what up dude? Joe Flynn, Gerald Shepard, what's up Pops? Jeremy Castillo, John Linsenrig, Lin Lesson Lessenrig, Lessering, I don't know. Dean Grace and Natalie Cordray. Happy birthday. I love being chicken, that's a freaking problem. Barbecue, grill, fried, I got a chicken problem. I watch the Lion King so much that I often use a quote to my everyday life <laughs> and random times <laughs> by accident. You saw it. <laughs> she punched me in the chest. <laughs> and ripped the earring out my ear.